Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at Aperture's new DEC Very ND. Uh, this is a lens adapter that will adapt a Canon EF lens to uh, one of your cameras. This one here is specifically for Sony E mount. Um, now, the DEC lens adapter is very unique. Now, obviously, you have a lot of options for doing ND filters on your cameras, but the DEC lens adapter is unique, and we're going to go over what it is and then we'll go through some samples with the Very ND. Uh, but it's really important to know what the DEC lens adapter is if you guys don't already know this. Now, Aperture came out with the lens adapter for E-mount and MFT mount first. Um, as you can see, it's just a straight pass-through. And again, it, it um, not only adapts your Canon EF lens to your camera, but you can control the focus remotely through a uh, wireless remote. So that's one of the unique things. And that's where you would also change the uh, iris on your lens. Um, later, they came out with what they called the Lens Regain, which is a DEC lens adapter, but this one is a kind of a speed booster, a focal reducer. So it has an optical element here. This one in particular is for MFT, so I can adapt a Canon EF lens to micro four thirds. I can control that lens wirelessly with a remote and change the iris. Um, so again, we have to dig into what it is, what it can do and what it doesn't do, uh, so you guys are more familiar. And then the big bonus is they have an electronic variable ND in here. So you can control the amount of ND inside of the, the lens adapter, which is very, very cool. Inside of the box, this is what you get. Now this is very similar to the other DEC lens adapters that you'll get. Uh, the kit is very similar in uh, many ways because it has a remote, the lens adapter, comes with a clamp so you can clamp the remote somewhere. And this is the receiver. Now this kit here has a optional clear uh, um, filter holder, basically. It's a clear ND when you don't want the variable ND inside. Then you have a bunch of cables here that can control your camera um, remotely uh, via start-stop video. Uh, so there's a LAN cable in here, and we'll take a look at how to set that up in a second. Okay, so I just unboxed everything from the uh, hard case and we'll take a look at the parts here. This is a clamp and this allows you to clamp this wireless remote. Again, this is wireless so you can control the Canon EF lens through here. As far as focus, you could uh, set A and B stops here so you can rack focus back and forth very accurately. Um, and then you can also start and stop video and that's where the LAN cable comes in. Um, and then there's a button up here to turn it on and off. Over here is the iris wheel, so you can change your aperture just doing it like this. So this is very handy to use um, on like a gimbal or something where you can't control the camera remotely. Maybe your camera's at the end of a crane or a jib or something. You can still have control over your lens um, settings with this. Now this is the lens adapter here. This is the receiver. So the receiver plugs in on the side. Now there's a little battery in here that you charge up. This is what gives power to the lens adapter. Let's just open this up so you can see. Now you probably notice there's a ND filter in here because it's very dark. Um, and then you can change the amount of ND through this remote. So let me turn this on and show you guys kind of how that works. Now right now we're at uh, ND8. and we are at ND16. So I'm just gonna keep adjusting this and you'll see it just gets darker. This is an electronic uh, ND. So you can see it just got uh, really dark and then um, we'll open it back up. So you have quite a bit of range for the ND in here. Now. Once again, this is the um, one that powers up this lens adapter. If you look on the back here, there's no communication to the camera. So this lens adapter is not a smart adapter where you can control your camera lens settings from the camera body. Um, some of the other lens adapters out there, you could change your iris by using the wheel on the Sony body or on the um, Panasonic body. This one, you don't change anything from the camera. As far as the camera knows, um, there's just a manual lens attached. There's no communication whatsoever. So in order to change these settings remotely, um, let's attach a Canon lens. All right, so I've mounted a Canon EF lens onto the DEC lens adapter. And as you can see, I don't have it attached to a camera body. 
And again, that's because the camera body doesn't communicate with this adapter. Everything that you do, all the modifications that you want to do is done through this remote and some of it is done here on, a, uh, on this control. So you can control the lens adapter from here or do it from the wireless remote. So there is a jog dial on the back here where I could adjust both the iris of the uh, lens as well as the ND filter. Now, what I do is I would uh, turn this jog dial here. Right now I'm adjusting the iris on the lens. So if you look at the menu on here and as I turn this, it'll change the iris on the lens. Now, I'm not sure if you could hear the stepping of the iris, but um, that's how you would adjust it. Now, to adjust the ND, I would press into this jog dial back here. So I'd press it in, and that toggles the mode. So now I can adjust the ND. So if I was to rotate this back and forth, you'll probably see that the ND settings are changing. So it's wirelessly making it darker or brighter. And I'll show you that uh, once we mount it to the camera, it'll make a lot more sense. All right, so next I'm gonna show you this lever in the front here, and this is how you control focus on your Canon EF autofocus lenses. So if I was to um, move this lever, take a look at the focus marks over here. If we move this, we're actually focusing with the lens. Now, this lever is somewhat sensitive, so it depends on how far you're moving it is how fast your focus is gonna be. If you wanna focus a little bit slower, we just move it um, a little bit slower. You could probably see it kind of moving. And then I can increase that speed. Another thing that you could do is set A and B points. So here you have your A and your B buttons. So you, first you would focus the lens to a certain point and hold the A button and lock that down. Then focus to your B point, hold the B button and lock that down. Then when you're using this little toggle lever here, it'll go between your A and B points and you won't pass uh, you won't go past your focus mark. So it's really handy if you just need to rack focus back and forth between uh, two different objects. Now, another thing the DEC lens adapter offers is remote start stop of your video on certain cameras. So this is kind of the generic LANC cable here. You connect it via USB up on the side, and then you notice that you have a little um, mini jack over here. So you would choose the proper cable depending on the cameras that you're using. They have a standard length. Um, they have a Sony D, uh, but most of the Sony cameras now are using the multi port, which is kind of like USB. So for my Sony a6500, I would use the Sony multi port adapter here, the USB adapter. Um, so I could plug this in over here on the side. And then obviously when my camera is attached to the lens adapter, I can attach this to the multi-port. Once I do that, we have the start and stop record button on here. Um, so again, this is wireless. So if this handle was on a gimbal, I can start and stop uh, video on my Sony camera. I can adjust the iris on the lens. I can also focus back and forth using the lever here, or I could set A and B hard stops and I can uh, adjust the amount of ND. So you could do a lot with this one remote without ever having to touch the camera. And that's very handy for uh, gimbal operators, guys who are on steady cams and they can't physically focus on the lens or you know, uh, touch the camera, otherwise it'll throw off your balance. So this is the Aperture Very ND DEC lens adapter, which has that variable ND filter in here. Now there's a lot of times you don't need an ND filter and even at uh, the lowest amount of ND, you'll have some attenuation. So if you want to have absolutely no ND filter with these uh, very ND, you can eject this filter and then you can replace it with one that they include, the clear pass through, and you just replace it with that. So now you have absolutely no attenuation with your image and if you're, you know, especially if you're shooting indoors, and then if you need to go back to having an electronic variable ND, you could just reinsert the other filter. All right, I just wanna show you guys a quick example of where the DEC lens adapter really shines. Um, so this is just a Kim TV Argo gimbal setup over here. We have got the Sony a6500. I have a Tokina 11 to 20. So it works on Canon EF autofocus lenses. Um, there's some lens compatibilities that you need to check on, but for the most part, 
a lot of Sigma, a lot of Tokina. If it is a Canon EF mount autofocus lens, it may work as well. So this Tokina 11 to 20 works with the DEC lens adapter that we have here, the very ND. I also have the LAN cable hooked up. So basically what I can do now on this gimbal is when I'm operating it with two hands, I can actually start and stop video on the remote here. I can dial the amount of ND that I need. I can adjust the iris if I need to stop down a little bit. Um, and I can also focus uh, all from this remote and it's doing it wirelessly. Now, your typical wireless follow focus system for a gimbal typically has like rods and then you need gears, uh, motor, that motor needs to be powered up by a battery. And then you also have some sort of wireless transmitter on your gimbal system. And then you have a separate like wireless receiver. So, you know, it could get a little bit crazy and very expensive with your traditional wireless follow focus system. But here the DEC mimics a wireless follow focus in some ways. Um, and you have a lot of control over your lens um, detail and it's all done through this wireless remote. So that's really where the DEC shines. And again, they have a speed booster focal reducer edition. They have now this variable ND, which is electronic variable ND. So a very unique product, handy product that you can use for um, a setup like this. This is where it really starts to shine. All right, so now we're gonna go into a little bit more detail of how the focusing works. You guys can see some examples of how we set the A and B. I'll also do some examples of the variable ND outdoors so you can kind of see what uh, it looks like when we're overexposed and how we stop down, um, any color shifts or sharpness, uh, things like that. But you know, all that depends on the type of lenses that we're using, right? Um, but you guys get to see uh, some examples of that. So we'll set this up on a tripod and we'll go outside and we'll uh, test that out. All right, so we're outdoors. Um, we're gonna do a test with the uh, way the Aperture DEC lens adapter works and some of the functions. I have two targets in front of me, two color charts. Uh, we specifically chose color charts so we could see how the ND um, affects color as we apply more or less ND. Uh, right now, the default is ND8. So again, once you have this adapter on with the ND filter dropped in, the variable ND filter dropped in, um, you will always have some attenuation. Uh, it's at ND8 at its minimum. Now, what we're gonna start with um, is we're going to adjust the aperture on the lens, the iris of the lens. So I'm gonna take this dial here and I'm just gonna uh, rotate it. So if I rotate this dial, the image gets darker, but we are also affecting what is in focus and what is out of focus. So let me focus this image a little bit and you can see more or less things are coming in focus as well as getting darker. So ideally you don't want to change your shutter speed and sometimes you want to maintain the same aperture so that things are kind of blurred out or defocused. Um, so that's when ND filters come in play because you don't want to change your iris, you don't want to change your uh, shutter speed, and maybe you're at the minimum for your ISO, so you have to apply an ND filter to block some of that light. So we press inward on this jog dial here and it changes our mode to the ND. And so what you'll see here, and I'll focus on this closer one here, I will um, start to apply ND. And you notice that the image gets darker, but not as much gets in focus. Uh, we're still at the same iris or same aperture. So we're able to make the image darker without affecting the focus. So right now we're gonna go through the steps and we're just gonna see how the ND affects uh, the color here. Um, so we're at ND8. Right now we're at ND16. That's ND32. Right now we're at ND64. This is ND128. Right now we're at ND256. Now we're at ND 
512. This is ND 1024, 1024. Here we have ND 2048. And that's where we're maxed out at ND 2048. So we can block out a huge amount of light depending on what lens you're using. Uh, my lens here is an F4, so you can imagine if you were shooting at uh, F1 or F12, how much light we'd have coming in here. So you have plenty of uh, ND filter variations within the very ND DEC lens adapter. Next thing we're going to test is lens focus. So uh, as you can see, I have the uh, closer chart in focus. To change focus on the lens, I use this throttle here, this little lever. So I'll show you really quickly. I'm going to go very fast. I'll jump from one to the next and to the next. And if we want to move our uh, focus slower, what we do is we just move the lever slowly. So I'm going to start to move this lever and you'll see that it's going to start to change focus gradually. Now I'll go backwards and you'll see how it changes gradually. So what we can do to set A and B hard stops here, this is your A point and your B point. So as an example, let's go ahead and focus until we're at the first chart. And we'll make sure we're as focused as we could be, probably over there. I'm going to press and hold the A. And that will uh, lock my A point. Now I'm going to focus over to the chart in the back. And if I believe that's where my focus should be, I'm going to hit B. Now at this point, our focus shouldn't shoot past our focus point. And no matter how quick I jump, like if I go here, it'll land right on that chart, land right on that chart and we just bounce back and forth very quickly. So we're always hitting our focus marks. Again, if you want to do a slower focus, you just move the lever a little bit and then it'll gradually focus to the next and gradually focus back to the other one. And there's a little buzz that happens once you hit your marks. So that's kind of how this remote works. Again, we can also start and stop video here. I don't want to do it now because I'm actually recording on the Sony. Uh, that's a quick look at how the aperture DEC lens adapter works and now with the new very ND which has the variable electronic ND filter built in All right guys, so that's a quick look at apertures DEC lens adapter with the new very ND variable ND filter uh, If you guys want more information about this, I'm gonna have a link below this video or also on the blog cheesycam.com